Remember when I was fixing this raised bed uh, a week or so ago? Well, now I'm in the process of cat proofing it. Um, now, it's going to be easier to explain as I go along. But uh, I found this, I think this is some fencing that I found in Houston on the curb. Anyway, I'm going to use it and we'll cover these slats, these frames with this fencing. <laughs> and the theory goes, don't tell the cats, but I think this is going to make it cat proof. You tell them, and they might take it as a personal challenge. So let's not tell them, okay? All right, so this project would require, uh, let's see, three pieces, three gates on one side, three on the other side. That's six gates, that'd be 12, that'd be... Yeah, I mean, one, two, three, it'd be six pairs of hinges, or 12 hinges. Now, that's awfully expensive for a little cat-proofing situation. Let's go old school. What I got is some, like, rubber belt, plastic belt. And I'm going to show you an old school way of making hinges. For this project, it'll work just fine. We'll be right back. So, and that's how the... That's how you make hinges when you're poor. You don't want to spend three or four dollars for a set of hinges. Or whatever it would cost to get a set of hinges. You just pick it up. Do your business. Close it back down. Now it ain't going to close perfect. So you have to lift it up a little bit. But. I'm sure there's some way to fix it up. But I don't know what it is right now. Maybe put a screw over here on this side. But. You know, I might be well how I fix that. Anyway, I got six doors to do. All right, so I've got two of the frames up, and what I have found is I put a screw down here for this to lean on, and I think that'll work. Um, this fencing ain't perfect, but I think it's cat proof. Um, I guess if a cat is determined to get in there, he will, or she will. Um, they like to get into the beds and pee on the stuff. They also like to eat some of the plants. Um, I didn't know cats were vegetarians. But anyway, uh, that's what I'm doing. Uh, I think I've come far enough along in the process that you can see it just, you know, make a panel, make a gate, install it, and repeat. I've got two of the six, because there's three over there. Wow, really? <laughs> I hammered these two little itty bitty nails in right here and knocked that little bitty nail out. Ain't that something? Yeah, well, I've got a solution for that. That's called a screw. All right, well, like I said, yeah. I said I t underneath the frames, underneath the gates, is a slat to help hold the gate up. So it gives it a little bit of rig rigidity. <laughs> I'll put three more on this side and it'll stiffen it up. And uh, we've got chicken wire I'll put on the ends, on both ends. I probably should have done that end before I put the gate up. But I was trying to make a video. So here we have it. Uh, cat proofing a project and yeah, we got some beds we're going some other beds we're going to cat proof but that'll be a different video peace guys